Welcome to WISIS Forum 2018. I am very pleased to be joined by uh, Mr. Majid Sultan Al Mesmar uh, of the UAE. You are Deputy Director General of the Telecommunication Sector, the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority, the TRA, uh, in the Emirates. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me here. And you are obviously also Chairman of uh, WISIS Forum 2018, and the UAE sponsors this year. So yes. tell us about your involvement with WISIS Forum. Um, the United Arab Emirates has been uh, involved really well f with the WISIS for uh, several years. And uh, that's because we do believe in the WISIS. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a forum uh, or uh, a platform that uh, really uh, involves different stake, uh, multi-stakeholders. Uh, uh, and the good the good part the good part of it is now it's linked with the sustainable development goals and we've been seeing so many initiatives out of the WISIS action lines that they've been already implemented and the common thing is it reflects the importance of the ICT role in implementing and achieving the goals and uh, that's uh, that's very important thing. I come from the ICT uh, sector uh, um, and, um, uh, as a regulator, as a regulator, and uh, I used to even uh, work in the uh, telecommunication uh, and in operators. Uh, and I know what it means to have uh, a real solid infrastructure uh, in any countries. It really, it easy, it is the transformation from conventional to smart to uh, electronic and smart uh, transformation. In which way services being offered earlier, it can be offered much easier, faster, more efficient, and uh, that's because of what? Because of the ICT. And of course, the UAE have always seen ICT as a powerful tool for development. Uh, the UAE is an innovation hub uh, on a global scale. Um, and you have been at the forefront of efforts to create an e-government society that works for everyone. Um, yes. Uh, if, we, if we just go uh, back uh, 1998, where the first decision of our leadership uh, is that this is the time to move or transform from conventional government to e-government. And that immediately happened. Ru uh, a law was issued, and that was, that was I think, uh, the um, e-commerce uh, law to legitimize the online transactions and to give confidence to the people. Uh, the entities uh, within the government start uh, having their services uh, available uh, on websites. In uh, 2013, again, our leadership have seen that, well, decided that now this is the time to move to smart government and that shifting the way or changing the way how the, uh, the government offering the service and wanted the, wanted the government to be like hotel uh, star, five-star uh, five hotel, offering the service at all times, open throughout the year. The government should be offering its services to all its customers at all the time, 24 hours, 365 days uh, our, uh, a year. And that, it helps a lot in, uh, in uh, speeding up, reducing queues. Uh, the customer uh, can uh, do the transaction uh, from the tip of uh, his uh, phone. Um, th 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 that's something amazing. In 2015, when the UN uh, approved the uh, Sustainable uh, Development Goals, UAE was among the first countries to align its plans, strategies with that. And uh, we have taken a part in which 
uh, we have taken a part in which the word sustainability was very peculiar for us in such a way that's very important and we need to think about it. What are we going to do in the future? As you know, the UAE is the, um, an oil producer um, country, and but that will not last forever. Again, our leadership have said we want to celebrate when the day we produce the last barrel of oil. To do that, we have to have alternative uh, alternative source of income. And what is the oil of the next century? That's the big data. It's the data. How how we gonna make use of it? Big data. The easiest way is to have the artificial intelligence. That will, will help you to really analyze and come up with new products that will really be more or less like the oil today. And uh, you could say this is uh, not plan B. This is going to be plan B and C and D. Mr. Al-Mismar, thank you very much. Thank you.